Welcome back, everyone. Polius here with some more Ori of the Blind Forest, Definitive Edition. Oh, last time we fought through the, uh, the Forlorn Ruins, I believe it's called. It's been a little while. Um, and we got to find out why Kuro is doing the things she's doing. Raised some interesting philosophical questions about life and, you know, just the preservation thereof. Also, I got 100% in the Forlorn Ruins. Valley of Wind is only 88%, but I think we can probably... No, we can't. Oh, yeah. I'd probably grab all that. Let's do a little bit of backtracking for a bit. Um, just recollect our... Oh, no. Oh, pfft. This was a, a nice gesture by the developers. Oh. It is giving me a means of getting back up here. Because I can. Ow. I am the innocent one here. Alright. Did I get that? I think I did. That's been triggered. What? Okay. I guess I guess I died. Um I suppose what happened was I got knocked into a thing that he was or that the, the little guy was still jumping into, and that's what killed me. Alright, well that's fine. Oh, no, I don't want to do... Oh, right! The wind is active! Look at this! This makes a lot of this traversal so much easier. I can just hold Kuro's feather. Oh! I am... Not having a good start. Not at all. Alright, well. Let's just bounce up here. Oh, no, no, not ready. Anyway, so... Restoring the... the Gin, oh, not the Ginso tree, the Forlorn Ruins. Means that the winds are alive in the forest again. I just have to hold this, and I go flying up. And this is true for a lot of areas in the game. Oh, come on. What the hell? As for you, sir. I'm gonna send you places. Oh, that way I, did, I didn't know I could do that. I'm learning so many things about friendship and who I am today. Um, I don't need to teleport. I'm just gonna go this way and continue to fly up. Got him. And... Oh, this is kind of the closest that the game will get to flying. He's being able to do this. And I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, I mean, I can pretty much soar through the air as it is. I'm trying to figure out... Okay, so how do I get the, uh... There's a lever somewhere. Let's just look around for a bit. It's gotta be close. It's probably somewhere obvious that I've completely missed. You know, the usual. Oh, Alright, well. You're gonna insist I use uh, DLC abilities. I'll use DLC abilities. Um, lever, lever, lever. Okay. 
Well, maybe, oh, maybe it's over here. So, there looks like there's a ledge. Oh, I found, I found it. It's not a lever. What am I doing while I'm here? I can jump up and grab this. Totally worth it, guys. Totally worth it. So it's not a lever, but remember that there are some switches. I can hit with the uh, the light burst, and that'll open up the gate. I don't remember what that was before the uh, definitive edition. All right, well, I'm gonna save real quick. That'll heal me. And, you know, give me some peace of mind in case I have to backtrack again. Alright, I never got the, uh... Oh, I'm gonna run out of air. I'm gonna run out of air. Oh! Oh my goodness. Alright, well, hey, a lever. What does that do for me? Oh. You know what? I appreciate the puzzle you have provided for me, but I decline. I very much decline. I'm just gonna get a bigger uh, energy pool and climb back up here. Oh no, no! Okay, we're good. I got a little scared. Why is it easier going up than down? I wonder if the sequence is slightly different. But there we go. Game saved. Um, yeah, I could go grab the rest of that stuff. I'm kind of already here. Let's see, what, what does the tree say? Oh. Hey, next level. I get underwater breathing. Let's go ahead and just do some... Oh. Do some of the backtracking. We're right here and we can teleport once we're done. Um, oh God, look at the range of that. Alright. Uh, I think for this, I need to be able to. Bounce, uh, yeah. This one's relatively easy to get with the, the light burst. Um, grab that heal. And then over here is simple enough. Boom! Don't mind me. I'm just gonna break stuff. Oh. This is terrifying. I think I might even keep these guys alive, but they're scaring me. They're scurry. Alright. Death laser. Okay. Death laser is easily dealt with. We've got a rock right here. Um, I think I remember this, this puzzle actually taking me forever. Uh, just, just to be safe. What is wrong with the buttons today? We're gonna save. Anyway, now we're just going to push the death laser. Yep, I'm holding onto it. There we go. Alright. Push puzzle is simple enough. And there's another uh, energy cell right for the taking. Just don't accidentally walk into the, the beam of death. Alright. I think I needed those guys to propel myself upward, but I can do this instead. It's so nice having abilities like that. I don't have to use that frog. Oh, all right, uh, that, that's easily done. I don't know what that triggered, but hey, it triggered something. That's what's important. 
Okay, we'll just jump up here. This is such a cool part. I do recall this. Yeah. Uh, we're going to drop down here just to make sure that we have all the area explored. Um, what does the map legend say? That's a map stone. I want the uh, to be able to teleport. I'm going to go down there. It's going to be a pain. Eh, it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> brilliant! Simply brilliant. Where did I save? Down here. Alright, let's grab this. Save. And just drop down here. It's so easy to destroy literally everything in my path. I don't really have to worry about these guys very much anymore. Okay. That is just sitting up there, and a big chunk of the area that I haven't explored is literally solved by me just doing this. See? Maybe not. It's only still 88%. There's that. Uh, I think I can... No, I can't. Okay. Well, I have fast dash for a reason. Probably to make these parts a bit more tolerable. It's... It's something that has always kind of interested me, are the, the, the whys of things. You know, I'm at, you know, when I'm at work, you know, I'm asking about, you know, people are just asking, how do I do this? I want to know, you know, why do we, uh, have to tack the bridle up this way, or something like that. Um, so one of the things that interests me about games is why do developers give a certain ability? Like, what what did the developer think was served by doing giving the dash? I love it, don't get me wrong. Anything up here for me? Yeah, my save, it looks like. Yep. Um, I, I love the dash. I'm not complaining about it. But... <laughs> but it is interesting to think about why... The dash does damage, right? No. Right, that is what deals damage. That deals a ton of damage, too. Alright, I'm just going to ignore you. Um, and it makes traversal a lot easier. But, you know, at least you know, for non let play purposes, I never really had a problem with traversing in this game. I'm going to go down here. I always, it, it always was nice having another chance to go through this area and just explore. Alright, I can breathe underwater now. Just in time for the last chance to do it. More energy. Um, yeah, I'll grab basically everything leading up to here. I'll, I'll grab everything leading up to um, here at the start of the game. And then. Sorry, I was, I was distracted. And then go to the map section. Oh, oh no. Ah! Ah! Sucks to be you! Alright. Also, I'm gonna heal. So that means that I need to dash over this way. Check under here for anything. How did I miss that? Alright, well, anyway. I know how I missed this. So I need to throw. We'll try again. Oh, come on, guy.
All right, sorry about that. Um, oh, and I got distracted. S uh, switch up here opens up the. Got already got two. Anyway, I've got a bunch of frog guys down there. I'll just send them flying. How did I miss this? I mean, at, at this point, it's quite unnecessary. You know, I'll just grab those ones up there because they're right there. So how do we get up here, I wonder? Well, fortunately we have a big, you know, bouncy light ability. Oh, right, and wind. Uh, the wind helps, too. And this just opens up. We can't get to that yet, so I'm going to just head back and we'll head to the next area. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do like how quickly this lets me traverse the runs, but... Or the, um, why, why they decided... Oh, wow, that really sent me flying. Why the developers decided to, uh, give the, the, the light bursts that I've been throwing. That's kind of my biggest question, because it just, it's so powerful, and makes so many of the, uh, the challenges just irrelevant. Oh, hey. The energy right there. I don't, I don't think I can get that thing right down there. But I can get the energy. Fly, fly me to the moon. I'm actually a big Frank Sinatra fan. Or... That's, that's not Sinatra, what am I saying? Um, yeah, no, that's Sinatra. For some reason, I was seeing Frank Sinatra and thinking Johnny Cash. Alright, no. Oh, I think the, the spot I'm missing is right there where that where that one pickup is. I'll get that later, but for now... I'm just gonna avoid these guys. As we head up Mount Horo in the Sorrow Pass. Right now, Mount Horo is elsewhere. We head up the Sorrow Pass. Um, grab this. Thank you very much. And we're just going to keep flying. Not necessarily to the moon, but oh, these guys do so much damage. Um, yeah, look at that. Two damage. It adds up, alright? I'm actually not going to waste time. There we go. Now we're in the Sorrow Pass proper. And they don't take any damage from their attack. It's very inconsiderate of them. I'll unlock this, though. And save since we're here. Oh, no, 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 no. So the rocks... This is a, such a great mechanic. I wish that there were more... Uh, more parts that used it. All right. Between the birds and the rocks, again, it really does feel like you can fly. There's a map fragment up there. We should be able to grab that, no problem. There's boom. Map stone fragment, and we're going right about here. There we go. Bathstone. Nice and close together. This is a big area. What we're going to do is we're going to drop down from Upper Hirish. They're so tanky. Also, you notice that the birds are totally immune to falling rocks. Natch. Alright. Grab this again. Hey, look, we have a map fragment. What do we do with it? Oh, it's been right here. Look at that. Sorry, noisy chair. Look at that, we can see the whole map. It's big. Wow. Alright, 
That is for you. Half your health is half your health. And it's not even. Jerk. I hate these guys so much. I'm just gonna knock him off. Um. Oh. Played that poorly. So what I am going to do. Should be able to send a flying. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, these guys are such a pain. I mean, they're very—they're perfectly designed enemies. It's just I hate fighting them. One right there, and there's one down there. Okay. Oh, that shouldn't be hard to get at all. Oh, cool. Other fun fact you can uh, dash, grab Kuro's feather, dash again, and proceed to have a lot of dashes. lasers. Just go that way. I, I, I want to be done with you. Hey! Hey! Come on! I attention with the uh, uh, explosion. Yeah! Oh, I killed him. My explosion's too powerful. Oh, oh no, no, no. Sorry, I'll get I'll get that in a moment, and everything will be fine. And everything will be fine. I wonder if I level up, will that will a subsequent explosion will that be enough to destroy the uh, barrier there? science. Science is important. Thank you. Alright, you know what? Never mind. I've discovered I don't want to know this much. Well, I guess we'll try one more time while that door's open. Once more to the beach breach, my friends. Alright, whatever. I'll be, I actually am beginning to doubt if that guy's giving me any of at all. Oh dear. We are so close. We are so close, eh? This guy will give me up. Nope, it does not. But hey, level up. We should be able to get. Ah, oh, that's triple jump. Requires one more. All right. Hey, look at that. We got the thing I was looking for. Just go away. No, I don't care about you. Thank you. I mean, those aren't that important anymore. The uh, the the big blue rocks. Don't do that much for me anymore, but I mean it's part of the, the completion of this experience. Okay. I can do this. Oh, I need to unlock something somewhere. Oh right. Probably right about here. 
Yep. At this point, it's super easy. Just throw the sphere in the air. I don't even remember how you're supposed to do this with the, uh, the original version of the game. I, I recall it being a pain in the butt requiring maybe that uh, other spider. But hey. It could be worse. I could ha not have the super awesome ability. There we go. Ability cell, get. Triple jump, get. And I think we'll leave it there. I will see you all next time for some more Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.